This question is about differentiation and using various techniques we've learned. The first one is about the product rule. The second one is about um, the quotient rule. And the third one is about working out dx by dy and using that to uh, go ahead and work out dy by dx. So let's go through these. One key point I want you to note though. It says uh, differentiate with respect to x the following and then this. And it only says give your answer in the simplest form for the second part. So this is where you have to do a bit of algebraic work. The first one here, all you had to do was apply the, uh, the product rule and just leave it as it was. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it anyway. Now, always with these, uh, call the function y is equal to. Okay? Now, state your u and your v. You must state it. If you just go ahead and do this, it is not good enough and you will make mistakes. So state that your u is x to the half and that your v is ln of 3x. Therefore, your u dash differentiating a polynomial, bring down the half, keep the x, and reduce it by 1. So a half minus 1 is negative a half. Now, differentiating this, I'm going to just say that the answer is 1 over x, and I'm going to explain here why that is. You need to know how to differentiate logarithm. If your function is y is ln of say f of x, some function of x, then dy by dx is the differential inside the brackets divided by what was originally inside the bracket. So in our case back here, the differential inside the bracket is 3 over what was originally in the bracket, 3x, and the 3's cancel and you get 1 over x, hence the answer. Then state what rule you're using by writing out dy by dx is uv dash plus vu dash. Always state what you're doing. And that is equal to this times this. So it would be 1 over x, x to the half, add um, a half, x to the negative a half, ln of 3x. If you had left your answer like that, it would be absolutely fine. There would be no need at all to simplify it. You weren't asked to. But if you wanted to go ahead and simplify it, this is x to the half over x, which is just um, uh, 1 over x to the half, let's say, plus 1 over 2, 1 over x to the half, ln of 3x. And you could factorise out 1 over x to the half, etc. But there's no need. This was absolutely fine. Now, it's the second part where you are asked to simplify. Now, this is a quotient. It is a fraction. So state your u and your v. Firstly, let that be y equals. State your u. u is 1 subtract 10x. Your v is 2x subtract 1 to the power of 5. Differentiating this, u dash, well, 1 differentiates to 0 and negative 10x differentiates to negative 10. Several people just wrote 10. You must get this right. It's very easy. And you must lay out your working like this to easily show the examiner what you're doing. Don't just start writing the quotient rule uh, straight off the bat. V dash. Okay, this is the chain rule. Bring down the 5. Differentiate inside the brackets. Keep the brackets as they were. And reduce the power by 1. So V dash is 10, 2x, subtract 1 to the power of 4. Now state the rule you're using, the quotient rule. Many people wrongly stated the quotient rule. It's in the formula booklet. It's vu dash subtract uv dash all over v squared. The number of people that forgot the v squared, squared was staggering and also that got these the wrong way around. It's in the formula booklet. Use the formula book and write down the formula so you don't make a mistake. vu dash, this times this. So negative 10, 2x, subtract 1 to the power of 5. Keep everything in brackets. Subtract. Uv dash, this times this. So 1 subtract 10x, um, and then 10, and then 2x, subtract 1 to the 4, all divided by 2x, subtract 1 um, to the 5 squared, which would be to the 10. Now, at this point, people didn't know what to do. Think about factorising always it helps you. 
you've got a negative 10 as a factor here, and you've got a negative 10 as a factor here. So you could factorise out negative 10. You also have 2x minus 1 to the power of 4 and a 2x minus 1 to the power of 5. Okay, so you could factorise out a 2x, subtract 1 to the power of 4. What would you be left with inside? Well, the negative 10 is gone and you would just have a 2x minus 1 to the power of 1, which is just that. You've taken out the negative, so that would be plus. 10 has gone and that's gone. You would have 1 subtract 10x all over 2x subtract 1 to the 10. Now you can do some cancelling here. You could cancel that with that and there would be 6 of them left. And then you could say to yourself, well look, uh, 2x subtract 10x is negative 8x and so negative 1 add 1 is 0. So on the top you would have uh, negative 10 times negative 8x all over 2x subtract 1 to the 6 which is simply 80x over 2x subtract 1 to the power of 6. Okay, last part. You are given that x is equal to 3 tan 2y. And you are asked to find dy by dx, but the key thing here is in terms of x. Well, let's just follow our nose first. The x is the subject of the formula, so you know to differentiate with respect to y. So the 3 still remains there. A lot of people just forget the 3. Now this is the chain rule. Differentiate inside the tan and you get 2. Differentiate tan, you get sex squared. And keep that evaluated at what was originally inside the brackets. So this would be sec, uh, 6 sec squared of 2y. So therefore dy by dx is 1 over 6 sec squared 2y. Okay, now that is in terms of y. You want it in terms of x. Now just remember, there's a formula you know, and you know the following, that 1 plus tan squared of theta is equal to sec squared theta. So in particular in this, in this case, 1 plus, let's say, tan squared of 2y must be sec squared of 2y. Okay, now do we know what tan squared is? Well, look over here. We know that x is 3 tan of 2y. So tan must be x over 3. So tan squared must be x squared over 9. So we could just substitute that in, that in here. So therefore, using this, 1 plus x squared over 9 must equal sec squared 2y. So we could just substitute in here, and this would be 1 over 6, 1 plus x squared over 9, and that's it, you're done. Simple as that.